Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and welcome to BNMA1333 so this will be our third tutorial okay, for chapter 3 equilibrium of a body of a rigid body so uh, so we'll start uh, straight away so uh, this tutorial will be uploaded in ULEARN so you can uh, refer to it okay so we'll start with the first question okay so the first question here uh, is determine the magnitude so what I will do is I will share with you the uh, the, the the method to to solution okay and the answers for all the tutorial okay we can uh, discuss during our next uh, I can give you during the next session but I what I want to do is just I would uh, share with you what are the uh, the methods to to find the solution so then you can uh, uh, find the, the, the answers uh, faster and you can uh, and if uh, you will check the answers correct uh, whether it's correct or not in our either in our lecture session or in our next uh, uh, tutorial session okay so uh, we start with the first question okay. determine the magnitudes of f1 and f2 so that particle p is in equilibrium so this question is a, just a simple uh, finding the equilibrium Okay, finding the the solution for uh, F1 and F2 here. Okay, so that the P particle P is in equilibrium. So you need to find the uh, so that you need to use the the, the equations of the of uh, equilibrium, which is uh, the summation of forces equals to zero. So what you need to do is you just uh, use uh, the first is summation of at, uh, at axis x. Okay, so you need to find the summation. So, for example, for F1, you need to find the component, which is just uh, F1, 4 over 5, uh, positive. Okay, <coughs> and then, okay, because negative, because it's in the opposite direction of uh, X. Okay, and also uh, sine 30 degrees, 400 Newton. Okay, also negative. Okay, minus. So then you get the 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 summation out at uh, axis x. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and then uh, when you find that, so then you get one equation. Okay, with two unknowns, f1 and f2. Okay. Next, uh, for uh, at y axis, okay, you have uh, at uh, for f1 is f1 minus f1. Uh, 3 over 5 okay for the y-axis and then uh, cos uh, f2 cos 60 degrees okay at uh, minus also and also uh, for uh, the third is 400 cos 30 degrees plus so then you have uh, two equations okay f1 and f2 okay so uh, for uh, which is fx and fy and since you have two unknowns, you can use you can sub you can substitute between one of the two uh, f1 uh, fx or fy substitute between each other, okay, and then you can find uh, the first either uh, f1 and then next is f2, okay. So that is the uh, the method of solution. Next is uh, question number two, okay. For question number two says here determine the magnitude and angle theta of f so that the particle is in equilibrium so this is the same strategy as the first question okay. so what you need to do is you need to find the uh, component okay, for uh, f at x and also f at y and also the rest of the other uh, forces at this component axis at x and y then you can uh, find the solution so for this you just uh, f uh, for example for summation of because you only have need because you only have uh, uh, one unknown actually you can use either either uh, fx or fy okay so then you can find you can already find the f and you can finally find uh, find theta uh, so just one equation uh, with just one uh, uh, equation you can already find the value of f for example for uh, this you can choose either uh, at x so just f uh, cosine theta plus okay and then plus 2 to 2.25 kilonewton 
cosine 60 degrees and then uh, minus 7.5 kilonewton sine 30 degrees and minus 4.5 kilonewton so you uh, the, the summary of forces must be equal to zero so then you can find the value uh, uh, sorry uh, you need to use another uh, which is a uh, theta also you need to use another equation okay so uh, then you get uh, f uh, theta then you use uh, the f uh, at y uh, axis okay so f sine theta uh, minus 2.25 kN uh, sine 60 uh, minus 7.5 kN uh, sine 30 degrees okay and also uh, without uh, 4.5 kN so you have two equations so then you can uh, if you uh, with sine and cos you can actually uh, uh, find the solution for for the uh, for both uh, theta and also f okay next for question number three okay so at uh, the given that the uh, crate uh, at which weighs about 100 newton or mass is 50 kilo, around 50 kilogram is hoisted using ropes a b and ac so each rope so each individual rope here okay the one at point a at A, B, and A, C here can withstand a maximum tension of 200 and 500, 2500 Newton before it breaks. If A, B is always horizontal, which is at axis X, okay, so determine the smallest angle theta to which the crate can be hoisted. So you need to find the uh, what would be the smallest angle that the crate can be hoisted without the rope uh, break. Okay, so that it can be stand, uh, without reaching the the maximum tension of two thousand five hundred newton. So one is you can use uh, you can assume, okay, that all of the uh, for example because we have uh, we already know uh, in this case okay. Let me do a little bit of uh, drawing here. Okay, since we already know this value. Okay, so if you draw the free body diagram, so uh, important you have to draw eh, the free body diagram. So you already know this is uh, about, uh, excuse my, put a uh, number here. Okay. You know it's already 500 Newton. Okay, and we also know that uh, this rope okay is always horizontal. Okay. So we, we uh, this is sort of a sketch of the free body diagram. Okay, so we know this is uh, uh, F A B. Uh, let's see uh, the rope here. A B is uh, always horizontal, which is always at this angle. So we, what would be the value of this angle? Okay, theta, which is this angle here. Okay, this angle here, smaller, so that it still won't break the the rope. So what you can do is you can first assume okay that uh, one of the rope okay is at at the maximum tension. So let's just assume uh, you can just assume uh, in the first case A B is at 2500 newton for is for your calculation. So then you can uh, from there okay you don't know what is the value of uh, A B here uh, sorry A C here. Okay, but already so you can use uh, the because you already have uh, this the weight of the, the of the crate already you know and uh, you put the first assumption uh, that AB at is at 2500 the maximum the, the just at the maximum uh, tension at 2500 so we don't know uh, AC so you uh, AC and we don't know the theta okay the, you don't know the value of uh, theta so uh, you can find uh, the uh, using the summation of forces fx and fy 
it already uh, solve actually for example uh, value of uh, uh, a, a c and a b okay so you know that uh, so then you find the value of a c so uh, that first strategy does the value of a c is larger or smaller than 2500 you have to uh, determine that next what you can do is you can also assume that ac is at the maximum tension okay so ac at the maximum tension what would be the value of ab okay so the first strategy is you assume that ab assume that ab is equal to 2500 okay and next also you can uh, the second strategy is you assume that AC is equal to 2500 okay. so this will be the, the second uh, strategy so either one okay so you can check uh, finding out whether uh, uh, if you assume for example AB is 2500 whether or not AC exceed this value or if you assume AC is 2500 whether or not AB exceed the value so from there then you that whichever that does not exceed the value of the of the tension of the rope that will be the smallest uh, theta okay because if either value of the tension is exceed then the rope breaks okay so that is the the, the method of solution okay so next is uh, question 4 Okay, so you have here a set of uh, springs attached with uh, with support, okay, holding a, a block. Okay, so you need to determine the mass at block D, which uh, at the, at this current point is in equilibrium. Okay, this is equilibrium position. Okay, so uh, it's given that the uh, length of the spring uh, AB is uh, unstretched spring is two meter. So if the block is held in this position, what would be the the, uh, the mass? Okay, so uh, here with uh, we know this a triangle, okay, uh, triangle uh, uh, rule that we since this length is already three meters, this is already four, so the hypotenuse is automatically uh, five meters. Okay, so uh, to find what is the the, the force here at uh, spring A B here. So since it's given that the, the coefficient k a b is 30 uh, newton over meter, so using the uh, Hooke's law, okay, uh, force equals k x. So you have k 30 newton and you have uh, x. So it should be this is five meters and uh, with the unstretched spring a b is two meter. So you know it's uh, just minus five uh, with two. Then you get the value of the force at a b. Okay, so since we already know that the force at a b here okay we just need to find the uh, so if we draw the free body diagram okay you have uh, something like this okay, and this okay so uh, you already know that this will be the force of a b you okay, you already find this force a b here so this uh, because it's a, a triangle with the same uh, Size here. Okay, this is three meters. This is three meters. So we know then this uh, angle will be forty-five degrees. So we don't know the value of t here, but we can using uh, summation of equilibrium. Okay, the forces, uh, the equilibrium uh, equation. So f x. Okay, you just uh, find uh, this uh, the force of a b here with uh, minus the force of uh, AC uh, at uh, you can use either sine or cos because it's already the same angle 45 degrees okay or either uh, you can use cos 45 degrees so you have the uh, FAB minus uh, FAC here and then for the uh, at Y okay so FAB plus FAC minus uh, the at, uh, AD okay you have uh, AD so you can uh, you can find already uh, with the x you're going to find the, the force of AC 
uh, with the voice over EC, you can uh, find uh, both so using to, for moving into the second equation, then you can find the the, the solution for for the mass uh, of the crate and block D. Okay. So next uh, question five. So it's given here that the spring ABC has a stiffness of 500 newton over meter and an unstretched length of six meters. Okay, the spring has an unstretched length of six meters. So determine the horizontal force F. Okay, applied to the cord which is attached to the small pulley B so that the displacement of the pulley from wall is B equals uh, 1.5 meters. Okay, so here uh, it's given the, uh, the, the distance BJ is 1.5 meters. So you have uh, a triangle here. So since this is uh, 6 meters, if you divide it here, so this distance is about 3 meters. Okay, this is also 3 meters. So you have a triangle of 1.5 and 3 meters. Okay, so the unsigned strength of uh, the spring is uh, 6 meters with that. So what would be the force applied to the cord which is attached, uh, uh, attached to the uh, small pulley? So for this uh, question, so we already know that the, the, uh, the distance from the wall with, uh, with the force F applied to it is 1.5 meter. So then uh, since we don't know, know this is 3 meters and this is 3 meter distance so we can find with the even triangle law we can find what is the how much uh, spring is already how much uh, distance is already being uh, stretched with uh, each spring uh, with springs ABC here okay so uh, to find this distance so you just uh, square root uh, you just square 1.5 plus uh, 3 and then square root so you'll find the value of uh, the the, uh, the uh, being stretched what is the uh, uh, AB here for example so since we have already the the coefficient here so using Hooke's law so we know the tension uh, T uh, at AB so repeating for uh, BC here so we have two value of T here so just using the uh, uh, summation, summation of equation of both ABC here so then uh, minus f so it equals to zero so then you can get the value of uh, what is the value of f being applied okay next for question uh, six so ball d here has a mass of 20 kilograms so if a force uh, equals to 100 newton is applied horizontally to the ring okay applied at ring e here so determine the largest dimension b what is the largest dimension D so that the force in cable AC this force here is equal to uh, zero okay so you need to again uh, using uh, just uh, first draw the free body diagram okay you have uh, here would be the force F and then C here so then D would be here F A B and C so what you need to find is what is the largest dimension D here so that the force cable AC is equal to zero? So you have uh, actually, uh, so you have only uh, one unknown here. You can use either uh, using uh, X or Y. So, so since uh, the force F is already given 100 meters, so to determine uh, where, uh, what would be the largest. So just for example, search uh, using. Uh, uh, Force, summation force uh, uh, at x first. Uh, you have uh, value 100 newton here, okay, and then uh, minus uh, AC force and then uh, AB force. Okay, so here since we have, uh, uh, you don't have the value of T here. Okay, so you can find uh, this. You only have a distance of uh, two meter. So uh, since this is uh, two meter, so you have uh, you can. Uh, uh, find uh, the the value of uh, of uh, AC. Okay, uh, sorry. Uh, just start actually with uh, with the value of with uh, also at Y. Okay, well, since the mass of this already given uh, twenty kilograms, so assume uh, the value of uh, uh, gravity is nine point eight one. So you have about uh, twenty times nine point eight one. So then, you can, so then you can find also uh, AB and AC here. So then you can 
uh, what, what is the value uh, of uh, so you have uh, about two unknowns okay uh, with a b and a c but with just finding the the, the force of a b and c so you can use both so if you assume a c is zero here first for example at fx for example you assume at x a c is zero so then you only have a force uh, f and a b at the at x axis without the d so you already have you can solve a b okay because uh, a c is assumed at zero because we want to find the, the we want to know what is the value of d if a c is zero so from there since you can find the uh, the force a b okay uh, and then uh, uh, a b here and d uh, also at y uh, between uh, a b and y also so then you have uh, from there you have the value of f and you have uh, uh, the value force of a b since you already have the value force at a of uh, a b uh, at x and a b at uh, 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 at y so then from there you can find the the, the resultant force <clears throat> so from that resultant force you can find the degree and you also can find the, the uh, what would be the the, the distance Okay, uh, the whole distance of d plus 1.5 here, the, the distance of uh, of this just tangential, so equal to two. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, 1.5 plus d over two, then you can find the value of <coughs> d. So from there, <coughs> you have uh, what would be the largest dimension. So you have to compare between a b uh, uh, <coughs> a c. Uh, sorry, between a b at x and y. So, which would be the largest force, and which which one would be to achieve the largest value of of d? Okay. Next, uh, question seven. Okay, so we have a uh, weight max. Uh, we have to determine the maximum weight of w of the block that can be suspended in the position okay, in this position shown. If each cord can support a maximum tension of uh, eighty newton, so each cord here and maximum tension is only about eighty. And also, what will be the angle of theta or equilibrium? Okay, so uh, you have uh, you already given uh, the the pulley here. Okay, that can, uh, that support this position. So first, you can you have to find the the draw the free body diagram, which is uh, should look something like this. Okay, and here. So this would be T, and this would be the block W. Okay, and this would be A B. Uh, the the pulley station A B here, okay, with a thirty uh, degrees angle. So, uh, so we can approach uh, assuming that, uh, uh, for example, that each uh, T here is eighty newton. Okay, so then you can find uh, uh, the 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 value of uh, of uh, W. Okay, the value of, uh, of what is the weight. Okay, so uh, from there, okay, uh, then you can find the, the angle of theta because you already have uh, the force uh, T, okay, and uh, the theta, okay, so that for the equilibrium, okay, for example, uh, if you find the summation of uh, at, uh, at uh, X, for example, you have T, uh, AB here at 80 Newton, and you have AB here at, uh, at uh, 80 newton but you don't have the theta so you can find the theta here what would be the value uh, if uh, AP, if fx is equal to zero so from there you can move on and you can find uh, the maximum value of uh, uh, angle for uh, the maximum weight of uh, of the block for example uh, with uh, uh, with uh, at uh, summation force at uh, y okay with the both of the values since you already know uh, the angle, so you can find the summation value. So just uh, determining which which would be the the maximum value of W that can be supported. Okay, either uh, at one point uh, just A B at 80 newton or just the T here at 80 newton. So you can find uh, which would be the uh, uh, same. You can find the approach uh, through the solution like something like this, similar like this. Okay, with you have one uh, fixed uh, angle. Okay, with unknown angle, so this will be the same approach. Okay, so I choose either one, 
that make uh, that is uh, maximum of 80 newton as long as it doesn't exceed the value of 80 newton so you can uh, either set a b at 80 newton first and then or then next choose uh, a, a t here at 80 newton so that the the it, as long as it doesn't exceed so that will be the maximum value of w okay and that is the uh, angle of theta so that you can reach equilibrium okay next uh, for question eight okay you have uh, a 3d uh, okay, the solution that you need to find the magnitude and direction of F1 so required to keep the concurrent force system in equilibrium okay so you, we have uh, F, we will not known F1 here but we have F4 uh, F2 F3 and F5 okay so uh, so to find the F1 you can use uh, the uh, you remember in the last uh, tutorial using finding the unit vector Okay, and then uh, unit vector uh, value the force and that's why they can have the value of, of the F1 so in here for example you have uh, you have to find uh, you have to uh, add each component okay each forces you have to determine each, each component okay so if, for example uh, F2 here so you know that uh, uh, at, uh, uh, F2 is only is, is in the same as the as y axis F5 is same as uh, the Z axis, okay. But uh, F4 here has a degree angle at excuse me at uh, Y axis, and F3 has a uh, has a coordinate, okay, uh, coordinate uh, coordinate uh, X Y Z here with uh, with uh, value force value of order Z. So you just have to find at each component at each axis. At the y axis and uh, sorry at the x axis at the y axis and also at the z axis so uh, sub, uh, I mean at, uh, you have to summation all of it uh, f and at x at y and at z uh, equals to all of it is equal to zero so then you can find the uh, the, the what will be the uh, then from there you can find the, the value of force of uh, 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 you can find the the, the coordinate uh, force for F1. Okay, so to get F1 itself, so you can use the the uh, the magnitude itself. Okay, so you can just uh, 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 square root square of the value of at x, at y, and z. So you get the value the magnitude. So and for the direction, okay, you can you you find the uh, uh, each direction with the coordinate of uh, F1 at x. F1 at Y and F1 at Z. Okay. Okay. Next, uh, for question nine, so the weight of this grid is two thousand uh, five hundred newton. Okay, this grid is two thousand five newton. Okay, is to be hoisted with a constant velocity from the hold of a ship using the uh, cable arrangement shown. So, with constant velocity, meaning that you have the acceleration is equal to zero. Okay, because we want V to be zero. Okay. So. So determine the tension in each of the three cables. Okay, in each of the three cables, you A, B, C, and uh, A, D. Okay, uh, for equilibrium. So you have 2,500 newton exact here. So you have to find first also the unit vector of uh, of A, B, uh, A, C, and A, D. Okay, so then uh, from there you can find uh, uh, the 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 the, the the components okay of uh, force AB at x and y and z okay so ensuring that uh, because of this position okay so uh, you have to refine uh, so all of it at z here because uh, the force is taking the total Newton so summation is equal to zero so from there you can find uh, the the value of uh, AB uh, AC and also uh, AD Okay, so that uh, so that the 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 summation forces is equal to uh, zero. Okay, so you have three unknown. You have three axes you can use. Okay, the at x, at y, and also at z. Okay. So question ten next is uh, cables A, B, and A, C can sustain a maximum tension of five hundred newton, and the pole can support a maximum compression of three hundred newton. Okay. So this pole can uh, support maximum of three newton, while the cables A, B, and E, C here maximum tension of hundred newton. So 
So what will be the maximum weight of the lamp that can be supported in the position below? This position below. Okay, so force in the pole acts along the axis uh, of the pole. Okay, so the force. So first, just draw the free body diagram. Okay, the weight of the pole. Uh, sorry, the weight of the lamp. Then pole here, and then you have uh, uh, AC and AB. Okay, the cables. Okay, so uh, excuse my drawing, but uh, it's just uh, the basic idea. So from there, so if we uh, assume that uh, A is origin, okay, so just find the coordinate system for uh, AB, AC, and the pole A0, and also the, 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 the lamp, okay, at the at, at, uh, coordinate system. So, uh, so assuming that we have all of the information, okay, we have uh, AB and AC, the maximum tension of 500 Newton, and also uh, the the compression at pole is one instant. So we can assume that, for example, for tension, so it will be uh, going up. So the direction will be something like this. Excuse me. So, so the direction, you can assume something like this going up. Okay. Here also. For AB. And for uh, the pole at A, O here is in compression. So from there you can you can only have the value just use the maximum value of 500 newton for each cable a b and a c and also the compression of transmitter so from there you can uh, determine what will be the uh, the maximum weight with this position okay so just uh, from there you have uh, you just uh, use uh, force of uh, a uh, at y x and z uh, x y and z so then you can find the, the the weight of the of the of the lamp. Okay. Next question, question eleven. Okay. So it's asking us to determine the force acting along the axis of each of the three struts uh, needed to support the five hundred kilogram block. Okay. So you need to find the force acting at uh, AB, AC, and AD here. Okay. In order to support the five hundred kilogram block. So you have you can find first the the uh, position vector. Okay. <coughs> uh, the position vector. Uh, you can assume, uh, for example, in here at the A will be the, the origin here. So you can assume that this will be the distance. So finding the position vector for AB, AC, and AD, and then assuming what will be the uh, the, the force vector, okay, with that position vectors also, and then with uh, uh, force here acting 500 kilogram. So what will be the the force acting on the these three axes? So this is also uh, same as when you want to uh, solve for the uh, for question uh, 10 previously so just using uh, uh, <coughs> uh, forces at uh, uh, at x and y and z so that all, uh, each of them are in equilibrium okay the summation must be zero so then you can find the, the force acting on each uh, strut okay okay so finally uh, question 12 okay you have uh, a lot of uh, uh, components I think on this you have uh, cables, uh, uh, OD and OB here, cables, and then you have uh, struts, uh, OC, okay, to support this 50 kilogram of rate. And you also have a, a spring here, OA, uh, with an unstretched, uh, unstretched length of 0 0.8 meters and a stiffness, uh, the stiffness value is 1.2 kN per meter. So you want to find the force in the strut that acts along the axis of the strut. So we want to find the force acting at OC. Okay, again, you already give, been given. Uh, so you already see here that the 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 it's given that the spring OA unstretched length is 0 0.8 meters, but you have here the distance O here is already one meter. So it's already been stretched to one meter from its unstretched length of 0.8 meters. So that will be a difference about one minus 0 0.8 about 0.2 meters. So then you can find you already have the value of uh, spring OA here with the stiffness value. Uh, 1.2 okay so just uh, uh, multiply with the distance the difference in distance so you have the force acting on it so everybody force uh, at y here x is y and you already force acting at z here which is the weight of the crate itself which uh, which uh, crate itself, which is at 50 kilogram so from there using all the components of the using finding the force vector for ob uh, oc on od here so at each axis uh, x, y, and z, so then you can find the 
solution to to the force of uh, OC. Okay, so that is all of the uh, sharing you the uh, the method of the solution for uh, for tutorial three here. Okay, so the answers okay, you can uh, uh, do it on your own, and then uh, uh, you can uh, the uh, the answers that you find, then you can uh, we can discuss in our next either our lecture session or during our next story session. Uh, I can give uh, the you can compare whether or not you you did the method correctly. Okay, so if you have any questions, you can ask in our group, in our WhatsApp group. Uh, in uh, or in MS Microsoft Teams, but I think it's better in, uh, in the in our WhatsApp group so that I can uh, quickly answer your questions if you have any doubts and everything. Okay, so uh, thank you everyone for attending today. Uh, for uh, not attending, but actually paying attention for uh, what I've been talking about uh, about half an hour. Okay, so uh, we'll see in our next lecture session. So thank you very much. Okay, and have a good day.